Okay. The first first step in putting in any foundation is to get a footing in the ground. Usually it's 16 inches wide and 10 inches or 8 inches deep. Sometimes it has to have uh, a rebar going through it. But the beauty of building in sand as we are here on the island is that you don't need to form it up. You can just dig a trench and then pour it directly into the trench. That's what was done here. I was just digging away a little bit to give you a look at it. What we have here on this corner is our concrete block foundation and this end of it actually will be the uh, where the bulkhead goes into the basement. But right now, let's let's get together with John Clancy, our contractor here, and talk a little bit about how we uh, how we've gotten this far along. John, I want you to. Well, I don't want to interrupt your work, but I do want to talk about uh, the the mortar mix that you're using. Okay. What is it? Uh, this is a little more than two to one on uh, masonry, cement, and sand. So you're just buying regular bags of right. Portland mix, right. which has right. a, a lime in it and right. stuff. Right, right. And, uh, and adding how much sand? Uh, about 14 shovelfuls to a bag. Okay. It's a little more than two to one. Okay. And uh, the water's the real trick, though, yep. right? Yep, not too much water. You want to make a nice uh, yeah, consistency out of it. you want to have a great consistency that, you know, kind of holds together like that so that you don't worry too much about it running over the right. sides. Right, right. Okay. Now, show us how you put in a block properly. Okay. Usually butter all the webs because the block weighs about 40 pounds. Yeah. So you want to be able to. Interesting terminology. He's talking about buttering all the uh, the what? The webs. The webs. Yeah. The webs. Where they cross through the cross ties. Okay. And you're always using the top part of the trowel to, yep. to deliver the yep. mortar. Ooh. Pretty simple. Once yeah. you do a few. Okay. Let's let's see. Yep. We got one of these. Right you want a whole yeah, one yep. or? One of the whole ones. One of the whole ones. Okay. Okay. You want light? You want me to? No, you go ahead. Okay. don't want to tap it down too much because then yeah. you can squish it down too low. Not only that, I was about to put it in wrong because you've got two ends on a block and one of them is opened like that and the other one is obviously flush and you always want to put uh, that flush end against the open end right. to create that other pocket. Right. Yep. Well, let me, let me have a wanna try one. Let me have a go at it with the trowel. Now, what you're always using, as I was saying a minute ago, is the top part of it, right? Yep. And what you're doing is you're not loading it too much, and you want to put some on each one, but uh, you've got to have a real rhythm like you did a minute ago to do it as fast as you did. And then is that too much? No. Oh. Gets easier the more you do. Yeah, and then that's always sad when it drops down the hole, right? Yep. A little extra mixing. Yeah. Boy, it's been a while, huh? Okay, is that enough, you think? Yep. You just got to get some on the, the end joints here. Well, that's the hard part. That's the tricky part. Now, how do you do that? You, you just go yep. kind of buy it like yep. that? Put a little pressure on it. And it'll... No, it's not pretty, John. You do that one. Okay. Usually what I do is I just kind of put a little on there first. And then smack it. Yep. Good. Now, you don't have to wet the block or anything like that. You just yep. go right in right. and set it in. Yep. What about the level work? Um, well, you try to keep them so you have a, like a 3 8 and, uh, bed joint under it, an end joint. About 3 eighths of an inch. Yep. And you can put a level on them. Get them level. Good. All right. 